Counseling services are in high demand since the pandemic. KRHD News reporter Diamond Dixon is speaking with a local counselor to break down a stigma associated with mental health and how many people are in need of services. We've seen many people struggle with their mental health in the past two years. A local counselor, Cheryl McKeska, shares that there is a counselor shortage to keep up with the demand of counseling services. In March of 2022, the World Health Organization announced that worldwide depression and anxiety had increased by 25 percent. So I personally never thought that I would work or be a part of, uh, work in or be a part of a pandemic. She says there's a stigma when discussing the topic of mental health. There's been a stigma attached to dealing with mental health issues, to talking about it in general. But with the challenges that COVID has presented, people are finding themselves in a more desperate, but yet willing place to talk about their mental health issues. And so that's been perhaps a silver lining that has come from COVID. With a large increase in depression and anxiety, patients in the Brazos Valley are outnumbering counselors and are having to be placed on a wait list. We already were seeing an increase of clients before COVID. There already were waiting lists. And so since the addition of COVID, it has really extended those wait lists to where folks are having to drive out of town to find uh, services quicker than perhaps we might offer here. McKeska says the list is even longer for children, but one local mom is making sure her kids seek counseling at an early age after feeling trapped and isolated during COVID. I wanted to make sure that my kids were more like emotionally literate, I guess, than I was. I wanted them to know that you know, a lot of people struggle with their mental health and it's okay to go out and get help from somebody. Stubblefield says her daughters ages six and nine years old believe everyone should have a counselor. There's only so much people can handle before everybody has been living in crisis management. But it's getting to the point where it's I where people are saying I have to have help if I'm going to keep going. McKeska says talking to someone is the first step. If you would like counseling services, she says you can reach out to your primary care physician or your local counselor. In Bryant, Diamond Dixon, Carrie HD News. Jeff